Hi, everyone, and welcome to Angel Healing House, and welcome to Walk In Angel Ariel's Weekly Wisdom for this upcoming week of March 3rd through March the 9th, 2024. My name is Claire Candy Hoff, and my name is also Angel Ariel, as I had an angelic walk-in experience on January 11th of 2003, which I write about in my award-winning number one Amazon international bestseller, I Am an Angelic Walk-In, the autobiography of Angel Ariel. You know, welcome to March, everyone. The first part of this month will be a preparation time of sorts for the collective to uncover, to address, and to finally heal any negative emotions which are hidden within that would stop us from experiencing the absolutely magical flow in our areas of finance or in the areas of our careers, in finding a precious love to journey through life with, or perhaps a greater peace within, or maybe all of these. Any pain or hurt that is lodged deep in our subconscious will work counter to receiving the fulfillment of our manifestation work. Now, when you think about all the time and focus and attention you put on, uh, you put in on trying to manifest something, if there are any hidden negative emotions hidden somewhere in your subconscious, somewhere in the body, they will work counter and actually push your manifestations away. So in many cases, these negative emotions have been inherited from our generational, our ancestral line. We don't even realize that we're carrying them and that they're negatively affecting us. And they're actually steering the wheel of our lives negatively. Now, With Aries season, the spring equinox, the eclipses all on the horizon, we want to make sure that we are squeaky clean and that there are no hidden emotions that will energetically work counter to us now receiving our rewards as we step into this new era of light in this upcoming season of rebirth and renewal. You know, to book your revealing emotional code session or any other of my incredible services, please do go to my website so you can be prepared in this season of rewards to be open to receive. Go to my website, which is angelhealinghouse.com, or you can phone 831-277-277. 3716, that's Eastern Standard Time, um, and all that information along with my PayPal account if you want to donate for my free services. And if you do, thank you so much in advance. All of that is in the description box down below. So here on um, Walk in Angel Ariel's Weekly Wisdom, we pull runes, we pull oracle cards, we pull tarot cards. But before we get to any of those, we always look into the astrological heavens to see what planetary energies will be affecting us. Well, right off the bat, the posse of angels, my angelic family, who I am part of as Angel Ariel, um, right off the bat, we're telling everybody that this month is going to be very different in so many ways. Firstly, With so many in the collective having integrated many, many downloads during the first two months of this year, and quite frankly, weren't those two months a little bit rough, it has been steadily raising our crystalline bodies to enter the fifth dimension and higher. Now, having attained an elevated level, many will notice the breaking down of barriers of time and space separating us more and more of what we became used to in the past that no longer serves us, whether that was relationships, whether that was our jobs, our living situations, even our attitudes towards ourselves. They will be breaking down because we cannot take them into the higher dimensional levels. Now, in addition, this month we will have the beginning of as I mentioned, eclipse season, and it also bringing the collective to revolutionary changes 
that are escalating to bring about much needed change to our beloved planet. Now, the Posse of Angels and I are so looking forward to this March eclipse season. Uh, There's one in March, by the way, and there's one also in April. These powerful astrological events have uh, always, eclipses always put us where we need to be, uh, not for our ego (laughs) or not because we want to be there, but for our soul's highest growth. Hopefully, our soul's highest growth, and at this stage, we know that we're here to be of service for the highest good of ourselves and the highest good of everyone's concerned. These eclipses are leading us to be in the highest alignment with the new astrological year, which is Aries season. That starts the new zodiacal wheel turning, and that starts on March 19th. This will position us to take full advantage of upcoming destined events occurring of what the universe has in store for us, both personally and collectively. The Posse of Angels and I are very excited because it is a time of celebration. And whether you want to acknowledge it or not, this is exactly what you have been working towards all of these years. All those difficulties, all those struggles, all those trials that you went through, those trials of fire, those dark nights of the soul, and all of those things have led you to this destined point. Tomorrow, on March the 3rd, we begin the month with a powerful gateway portal. It's the 3-3 March, which is the third month, and the third day, the 3-3. And this is going to help us integrate higher states of enlightenment as the number 33 embodies more of our mastery and our connection to what the Posse of Angels and I have referred to for the past 21 years, which is our divine eternal natures. On this date as well, we have a Venus, Uranus square. Now, for those that may not know, a square feels like a clash of energies. This energy might test the stability of our foundations, might make us feel a little bit more demanding, might have us actually doubt ourselves. But by focusing on being grounded and remaining in the present, we can temper these energies with with our great laser beam focus on things like celebration, enthusiasm, passion, independence, and our stability. Now, this clash of energy is helping us find more harmony, steadiness, and it's, it helps to, it's helping to find our equilibrium during these very changing times. And the Posse of Angels and I want you to know that there will be a lot of revelations, a lot of things coming out. And the more grounded you are, the more that you see these as what we have been working for, for the revelations and disclosures of these things so that they can be addressed and that they can be finally out in the open, out in the public, so they can be seen, addressed, and then we can move on to building new structures and systems of light on the planet to take the place of those that were corrupt. Now, then on March the 10th, we'll have a new moon in the sign of emotional, intuitive Pisces. And it's bringing in a time of really deep inner reflection, having greater trust in our intuition. This new moon lunar cycle is encouraging us to see beyond our physical vision, to connect to those unseen realities. Along with the transitioning from our carbon-based bodies uh, to crystalline bodies to catch up with our elevated consciousness, our physical vision has been honed and sharpened. Within this energy, boundaries dissolve. And we emerge, many of us, with universal consciousness, transcending limitations, and embracing unity with all that exists. So, just don't be surprised if you start to perceive, become introduced to, and perhaps have wonderful conversations with angels, and fairies, and dragons, and unicorns, and mermaids, and benevolent galactic beings who are very real but it was our energetic frequencies which were much too dense and much too low to see these wonderful beings. Overall, 
This new moon invites us to surrender to the flow of life, to intuitively trust in the mysteries of the universe and align with spirit to co-create and guide us along our path now. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the posse of angels, here they come, that we're sharing that having entered March, many may still feel that they, they are in between timelines. And they sense that the new timeline of their journey is still being coded. It's still being shaped to perfection for each and every one of us. Being in this state of limbo makes it very difficult to attach ourselves to anything as the past is, well, past, and the future is at best uncertain because it's already, it's being shaped by an interdimensional hand of limitless possibilities. If we could only see our angels and God source creators input in how these new destined paths are magically being formed for us, we would be absolutely awestruck. And no one's going to miss out, especially if you don't uh, you aren't harboring those negative emotions that you don't may not even know you're carrying. And as I mentioned before at the start of the show, that um, my emotion code sessions are absolutely magical, revealing, and they lift those negative emotions from the body in order so that you can be clear to receive. So this, all of this is leading many to feel lost at this time. You know, like they're disconnected from the past, but they haven't attached to anything. But... At the same time, this is strange because there are many in the collective who feel a bit lost, but they somehow feel oddly excited. <laughs> yes, disconnected, confused, but there's something in them that is like anticipating something on the horizon uh, with spirit uh, that we have never, ever known before. And this is because this is the great awakening. This is the entering in of this new era of lights. Some of you might be saying, Jiminy Crickets, what is one to do? Well, the Posse of Angels is saying, it all depends on how one processes the feelings of uncertainty. They're reminding us that there's a great beauty in the unknown, and spirit absolutely adores surprising us. Having separated from attachments from our past, we don't know what to attach to again. Uh, there are so many unknowns right now. But the Posse of Angels is assuring us that we are exactly where we're meant to be, otherwise we wouldn't be there. Instead of feeling discouraged and fighting against our current life and whatever that looks like for us, we need to deeply comprehend that it's a time of celebration and congratulations, because we've arrived again at that doorstep of our evolutionary cycle. If the above description encapsulates and describes your life, then what you are experiencing actually is your graduation, as your soul is now in the perfect place, preparing for its next chapter to begin. Instead of seeing it as a time of perhaps uncertainty, Embrace this as a time of great certainty that the great reset of light is imminent for yourself, the collective, and our beloved planet, which will affect the whole universe. And with today's message, we chose a rune before, and this is the rune that came out. The rune of Gebo. Gebo is the rune of a gift, a partnership. You know, for some, this gift could be realized in the form of a much longed for romantic partner, or it could come in the form of the perfect business partnership. With so many of us having set up boundaries and limits as to how others treat us now, we'll be uniting and entering these new partnerships and we'll be expecting no less than honor and respect from anyone else in any partnership, friendship that we're in, and not collapsing into codependent or 
unequal demanding relationships. And I love the gift reference here because with all of the trials, tribulations and challenges and struggles that we've been through, now is a time of being open to receive our rewards as we step further into March, into that airy season, eclipse, uh, eclipse season, um, a start of that new astrological year, and also the spring equinox coming up. Such a time of rebirth and renewal. So I went to, oh, that, uh, there, there was an additional message with Gebo, is that all the work that we have done to evolve, the Posse of Angels wish us to realize that we are now partnering. This partnering could come in the greatest union with ourselves, with our divine eternal natures, and when this alignment occurs, miracles happen in our lives. So I went to my deck, lovely deck of in the Enchanted Map Oracle cards, and this three-card story came out for us. Um, I'll show you all of them together. That's what the Posse of Angels are saying, because they all go together. We have this one, which is Spark, number 34, Metamorphosis, Look at the beautiful butterflies there. And the third one is Golden Palace. And for those that are into uh, uh, recognizing the numbers, seven, seven, and five. Two sevens and a five. Two lucky number sevens and a five. So let's see what all of this is about. So let me see if I can put them here. And fan them out. Okay, so there we go. So in this story, we have a wonderful confirmation of forward motion in our lives. The spark card speaks about how it's the perfect timing for our lives to be ignited in March, to co-create something new with spirit. In this upcoming season of birth and rebirth, entering our divine partnerships in business and love, it is a glorious time for us to connect with our soul tribe connections, to flame this spark and passionately stoke this fire of collaboration. And we will feel this within ourselves. We will feel more ignited as the month progresses. Maybe some won't feel it as much in the first week or two weeks, but there's going to be a speeding up of this feeling of wanting to connect, wanting to collaborate. There's a spark that's been lit inside of us, getting us pre uh, prepared to be of service um, as we step into this new era. And the second card is just amazing that spark comes out with metamorphosis and it goes so much deeper than just changing our lives so that we can live the best lives ever. With so many in the collective having released those things that are now no longer serving them, they have created room for transformation to occur. Many in the collective have been in the cocoon, just like the butter, just like the caterpillar, who has to be broken down and changed forever, to now emerge in March as those magical butterflies, and to reveal our authentic beauty and share ourselves with the world. And I love that this glorious card, Golden Palace, came out. And this represents, for many in the collective, the rewards, the awards, the promotions, the accolades, the recognition for all their hard work, their diligence, creative projects, and our dedication to the light to be of service to the planet. This card is really, it's about good fortune, having our ambitions fulfilled, wealth, prosperity, yet it could also indicate emotional fulfillment as many in the collective have come to a place of happiness and peace. Many have found this deep happiness because they now recognize their unique, singular um, uh, way of being of value just by being themselves 
and having come home to their divine eternal natures. Now, for additional messages, I went to my lovely deck, and then he had been asking about it. It's called The Chronicles of Destiny Fortune Telling Cards. And we open it like a book to find out more. And these are the cards that came out today. Our first card is this one Time Flies. We see a clock behind her. She's looking up to it. This is an indicator that we are entering a fast-moving time frame. And if there's any area of our lives that perhaps have been stagnant with not much movement, we can expect things now to happen and to move forward. And when they do, well, the Posse of Angels is adding that they will happen quickly and suddenly. Many lives will change as if overnight. Although the Posse of Angels are sharing that this change is, that is coming has been divinely and destinedly orchestrated, is that a word, destinedly or orchestrated by our higher selves and spirit. And it's been orchestrated in many cases for years, for decades, and over countless lifetimes in order for us to get to this stage of the light triumphing on the planet over darkness and for us to step into a new era of light. So this is an indication of movement in our lives. Okay, And it's 13. I love the number 13. It's the number of the divine feminine before it was hijacked and, and, and made dark. Um, it's one of the most powerful numbers that there are, and it's such a beautiful, lucky, be uh, wonderful, wonderful um, number. But at one and three is four, which is more stable foundation. It's a security, stability, um, and a safety, and a very strong foundation is the number four for us to build things on. So that's Time Flies. The next one is a number one, one plus 19, which is uh, actually nine, 10, yeah, <laughs> is a one card, is the Pegasus card. And this is yet another card that uh, speaks about movement in our lives. Swift, swift movement. Now, our lives speeding up. It, this could indicate taking a short journey, a quick visit, um, traveling, perhaps, perhaps flying somewhere for a quick visit. With the energy of that swiftness, it's not only suggesting going places, but the energy maybe uh, is very purpose-driven. You know, Pegasus just doesn't turn up to turn up. It's very purpose-driven. The journey um, or travel could refer to receiving an invitation, perhaps for an audition or for an interview for a new position or business opportunity. You know, hence the urgency of quickness. In any event, these first two cards, Time Flies and Pegasus, are great indicators that by the, by the end of March or going into April, May, it's not going to be the same old, same old for so many of us. And it brings about movement as we get more into this month of March. Next card that's coming out for us. Oh, isn't this beautiful? Okay. This is a nine card. It's the card of Kissed. Isn't that lovely? Beautiful, beautiful colors. The yellow, the orange, and the red. Now, with the experience of things speeding up, it will be supporting our wishes and intentions. And many in the collective could find themselves blissfully falling in love with life again. Suddenly, after feeling like we were pushing molasses across a flat surface and not getting very much back in return, um, suddenly when things open up for us, it's just this awe and wonderment and enchantment that this is what we've been working for. Feeling this overwhelming sense of love for ourselves and for the planet, many will emanate a glow of love and start to manifest 
a whole different reality for themselves. And if you're desiring a cherished partner to journey with, this is a great indicator that the love frequencies that will be heightened this month will be reflected in your world, drawing a beloved partner to yourself. That is, once again, if there aren't any hidden emotions or emotional baggage that's been inherited that you don't even know that you're carrying. Once again, go to my website for to find out more about those emotion code sessions. Uh, this partnership that many will be drawing to themselves, either in romance or in business uh, or friendships, um, doesn't solely, again, have to be romantic. Uh, it can be anything, anywhere where we're aligned with people, that we want to connect with them, and in the, in the area of business or work, that we're going to be collaborating with them for those new projects of light. It's such a wonderful time to anticipate the celebration that's going to be happening when we meet these uh, very familiar, very comfortable Soul Tribe members. The next card that's coming out for us, well, with March speeding up in our lives, creating the feeling of being kissed by the universe, our next card is Waterfall. And look at that person, just lying back, letting life flow on her now. This couldn't be any more perfect. Many will find their overall health, a sense of vibrancy and well-being flowing once again. As the month of March unfolds and many feel, many will feel supported and loved, we find that altercations that have led to strained relationships are released in the overflowing love that we feel in our hearts now. Isn't that wonderful? One of the reasons for this is that we are just living in the present moment and not attached to rehashing an undesirable past or blame or feeling like a victim, and we are filling the magic of the now with only love. The Posse of Angels is sharing to ride this magical wave of waterfall energy and to really know deep within that if we continue to go with this flow of magic, then it will be a constant in our lives and just keep flowing, just like this waterfall. She looks absolutely blissed out. And the card that we're ending with, with all of these cards of movement, of being kissed, of being in the flow with the waterfall, we have Lady Summer. I love this card. And uh, I just noticed that, except for the Pegasus card, um, let's just have a look here. They're very... Um, they're not very light. Well, uh, uh, the kissed card has a lot of bright brightness in it because of the red. But look at this. Look at this. This is the beginning of March, where we're just starting to see the light. And by the end of March and going into April and May, we get Lady Summer. And this burst of blossoming and blooming, being in our element, as we have many causes to celebrate. As March marches forward, many will step into feeling that they're, they're in hives of new activity, making us busy as bees, <laughs> trying to gather as much nectar as we can. After feeling stagnant or feeling slowed down, after we were feeling stuck for such a long time, the posse of angels now are showing me a vision. They're showing me them, them dressed in their finery and saying, let the festivities begin. As we head in to this marvelous month of March and we watch our lives bloom all around us. Lady Summer. Absolutely beautiful. So let's get our fortune cookie cards, and see what comes out for us today. Okay. Okay, let's knock, 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 clear the cards, and come on, posse of angels, make them jump. Make the cards jump for us, and let's see what's going to come out. 
Oh, that almost turned over. Okay. One more. Jump, 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 jump. Okay. Well, take it. Okay, another two. Let's see what comes out. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. Just like last week. It had to fall on the floor. Okay. Excuse me, everyone. I didn't see the top of my head. Um, okay. Next. One more. Oh, that one, that one came over. Okay, now we have our three cards. First card that's coming out for us is this one. Property. A property purchase or sale for many, but heed security concerns in any transactions. Property. Okay, let's... What am I hearing? Many have uh, been taken out into... Taken out. Many in 2003 in the collective have gone from where they were living to temporary places, shall we say. And they're speaking primarily for those people, not in an established house or anything like that, but into where they're temporarily living. And they're saying that in these coming months, we will then be uh, in a position to look for more, and they're saying more, more permanent places to live, whether that's buying a home or that's or that finding that per perfect place to rent or being given a property or inheriting a property. Uh, these will all figure prominently, and they're, they're using the words prominently for many in the collective because in order to serve the greater good of ourselves and the greater good of the whole concerned, um, we need to be put in the position on this earth where we will be able to serve uh, the best that we can possibly serve. The next card is coming out is commitment. A commitment is indicated around love or business. It will make you feel better. And we will feel so much better because we'll be recognized. Uh, we w we've known in our hearts that these people in our in our soul tribe, whether romantic or friendships or business, uh, that they were there, but it was just not the right timing for them to come in. So many are going to be moving with that property card and making those commitments. The commitments could be to new work. The commitments could be to new uh, uh, starting a new business, um, starting a business with others, or joining uh, joining in with others. All of these things are really, really important um, because of this time of great collaboration and coming together. I often say that the sum of the parts is greater than the whole, and we're all pitching in at this time. Next card is the sunshine card. Beautiful. This often comes out. Uh, the sun is shining on your career, your business growth, your fabulous communications in relationships. So once again, relationships, commitment, our location, where we are, all of these things are highlighted. And I heard choose one more. Okay, I usually only choose three, but choose one more, I will. Let's see what comes out. Okay, come on. You have to make a jump. You, oh, thank you. <laughs> nature. Interact with nature in the outdoors, around animals, or by the ocean, farmlands. This will be good for your soul, healing for you. And that's a very good uh, um, reminder for all of us to connect more with the beauty of Mother Nature. And especially with our uh, crystalline bodies coming more on board and our vision being updated in seeing the fairies. You know, those of us who have, who have been able, like myself, to see angels and, and fairies for a very long time, know what that feels like when our vision is updated and uh, we can actually see them and interact with them. And it's just so magical. I hope all this has been helpful for you. Uh, remember, do go to my website and uh, look up that new service that I'm offering, which is the Emotional 
emotion code service. All of that information is, is there, um, and uh, along with my other services as well, and um, descriptions of my international number one Amazon bestsellers. Um, go out, everyone, and fashion an absolutely beautiful life for yourself. I'm wishing you love, and as always, angel blessings. Happy March, everyone, and open to receive what we have worked so hard for. Take care, everyone. Have a beautiful week. Bye.